Thompson, and I am one of the trainers here at Redtail. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining us today to learn a little bit more about navigation and users and teams throughout the CRM. Um, today, we are going to start directly from our login page in the CRM. Now, all you have to do is search in your, in your choice of internet um, browser, redtailtechnology.com. It should navigate you to our Redtail homepage. And then from there, you can come up to this fun login button and go ahead and click that guy. And you get to see Tucker right here. And on the right hand side, you'll see the option to sign into your Redtail account. Now, depending on the service that you'll be utilizing that day, you can sign into CRM, imaging, email, or speak from here. Today, we're just going to sign into the CRM and go over some navigation and adding new users and creating teams within the CRM. But we do have lots of other resources to help you if you do have additional questions on imaging, email, or speak. So we're going to click CRM up here and go ahead and sign in. Um, something I do recommend once we get to this page specifically for signing into the CRM, um, I would bookmark this, save it as a favorite, um, you know, web browser, however you're most comfortable with saving the information so that way you don't have to navigate through those other previous pages we just saw over and over and over again, because um, that can definitely seem like a bit of a time waster. Awesome. Once we log in, you'll see we are on the Today page now, so I'm able to see all my current activities. Um, but from here, we do have pro two primary forms of navigation within the CRM that we're going to cover today. First is going to be on the left-hand side. We have our left-hand toolbar right underneath the Redtail logo. Now, from here, we can navigate a number of different things. We can come to the Today page like we are right now and access any of that quick view information um, and give us a glance of today. We can then go to, into our calendar if we need to, maybe view some contacts, run a report, op view our opportunities, our current opportunities or sales pipeline in the system. Maybe we're planning a seminar, we can access that from here, as well as any workflows we may have currently um, open that we need to check on. Now, from our left-hand toolbar, this is going to be more of the sections that we can visit within Redtail. On the right-hand side, if we go up to our, right, our top right-hand corner, we also have another toolbar up here that helps us navigate to some more specific and a little bit different of areas. First, we have our little plus sign icon, which I call it our magic little plus sign, because this little guy, just like the left-hand toolbar, is gonna follow you everywhere in the CRM. So it's a great idea to start building muscle memory to utilize this, because from this little, little tiny plus sign, you can add new activities, you can start, you can start a new contact card, you can upload documents, add a new note, or even start a workflow from here. So from here, it's a really great idea, just like I said, and it's a best practice to build that muscle memory so you're utilizing this little plus sign throughout the, your time in the CRM. Right next to that is our little three dots and some lines little icon right here, depending on what you think it looks like. Um, but this is our integrations tab. So from here, you're able to access all of those wonderful integrations that you may be utilizing within the system. So like if you're utilizing Orion or Fidelity, you're easily able to click into those integrations and access that from this point. Right next to our integrations is our wonderful little mascot that is so excited you're here. He's putting his arms up. And from this point, we're able to view a couple of different things as well, one being your 12 most recently viewed contacts. So if you do have someone that maybe you're paying more attention to at the moment, um, don't think you have to constantly go back and search them in the search bar or view them in the contacts tab and find them. You can come right up here to our person that's super excited you're in Redtail and come down and locate them that way. In addition, from this perspective, you're also able to view your quick list. So any quick access list that you've created of clientele, as well as any tag groups. So if you do have lists of clients that you're compiling, you can easily access those from the same place as your 12 most recently viewed clients as well. 
right next to this little guy, we have our cute little bell. And if you haven't guessed already, this is our notifications tab. So this little tab will notify you if you have an activity coming up or maybe one overdue. You can set a reminder sound to it if you need to. So just make sure to keep you on track with all of the activities you have scheduled in Redtail. And finally, we have our little question mark that exists at the very end. And if we click into our question mark, it takes us to something that if you're not already aware of, Redtail has a number of different resources. So it takes you to kind of what we, I like to refer to as the utopia of knowledge and allows you to assess what kind of help you need. Perfect, let's head back in here though. And you know, now that we've kind of talked about navigation a little bit and we understand you know, the basic places we need to go to access different parts of our CRM, um, something else you're going to need to do is create users and create teams of users so then you all can utilize the CRM effectively. Now, in order to create new users, you're going to come up to your name in the top right hand corner and come down to manage your account. And you'll notice you have four primary sections and then at the very bottom there is an admins only portion. Now, not everyone in the system may have administrative access. So just keep in mind that what we're about to do, you absolutely have to have admin access in the system to access these sections. Now, don't worry everybody, we are gonna go over how to give someone administrative access. So I will definitely make sure that you're equipped with the tools to assess the appropriate members of your team with that ability. Excellent. So then from here, we're going to come down to manage database users and teams and click on that hyperlink. And this will take us into our uh, users and teams section of Redtail. And what this allows us to do is create new users, disable new users, and create teams of people, as well as assess a user's rights. Now, I know I just said a lot of words, but I think the best way to go about that is to create a new team member for ourselves. Now, in order to create a new team member, we're gonna come over to this little add button in the top right-hand corner. And you'll notice we get two options. We're gonna create a new user from scratch or we can add an existing user that already has um, a CRM login, but maybe they're not a part of our database yet. So we're going to select new user. And from here, you're able to select their username, password, fill in their email, and then fill in their first and last name. So we can give them a really cool username like red tail fan, we're gonna call it 2022. And then we can set a password for them. I highly recommend using a general password if they're a new user and then having them easily reset their password when they first log in so they can still set it to whatever they may uh, prefer for their password. Perfect, we'll fill in their email, perfect. And then we, when we get to the very bottom, we're also able to select if we want them to have administrative rights. So this little box is, if we want them to be able to access this section, we're gonna check it. And if we don't, we're gonna leave it unchecked. And then we can add our user. Perfect. So now we have our new user added and you may notice that nothing is in the last login spot because they haven't logged in yet. Um, but then from here, if maybe we ever have a situation where we said, oh, we just added Jackie, but we didn't make her an administrator, but we need to. Well, have no fear because right over on the left-hand side, you have access to something called an action button. And as long as you click on the action button, you'll get a number of different options for that particular user. So the first option is you can edit their user info, which unfortunately I will say you cannot change their username. So once their username is set, you cannot adjust it. So keep that in mind when you're creating usernames for your associates and your different database users. Um, but from here, we can change their first name and how it appears. So maybe I, oh, Jackie doesn't wanna be Jackie, she wants to be Jacqueline. And then we can also give them administrative rights. And then all we need to do is click update user. And then you'll notice on the right-hand side where we have our access section and we come down to Jackie, You'll see everyone is active luckily, but then not everybody has the second blue banner that says admin rights. So you can easily identify who was given administrative access. Perfect. Now, if we go back over to our little action button, the next option down would be edit user rights. And this is if you wanna get very specific with that particular user um, and you can 
limit their options as to what they can adjust on client profiles. So if you don't want them to change servicing or writing advisors or be able to combine contacts or export things out of the system, you can absolutely do that. You can also have them, you can strip them of their ability to, to delete contacts or to delete notes. So if you really want to make sure things are secure, you can get choosy with that particular user's rights. Excellent. And then finally, you're also able to change your users' passwords. So if they ever maybe forget or need to adjust it, keep in mind, you will need to know your current password to adjust your new password, just to make sure that no funny business is going on. And then you're also able to unlock the accounts. So if you, if for example, you know, I logged in and I couldn't get my password correctly, don't fret. You don't have to call support for help. You can just have someone who has administrative access in your system unlock you from here. And finally, the last uh, piece of information that we definitely need to know about is how to disable users once maybe they leave or retire. So what we can do is come over to our little action button on the left-hand side again, and the very last option is disable user. And from here, it'll just ask us, okay, we are about to disable the user. They will no longer be able to access your database. Perfect. We can click disable user. And now they are no longer able to sign into the CRM. They no longer have an active account. They're not, they don't have this, their little active access badge. Now, if we ever needed to view our disabled users, all we would need to do is go right next door to that little add button and in between the active button and select disabled. And what we could do as well is reactivate them. So if maybe they decided to come back or they, they decided not to retire, we can always come in to our little action button again and select enable user and they would appear back on that active list. Excellent. Now, the other really cool thing about Redtail that we can do with our users is we can actually segment them into teams. So if you notice in the top left-hand corner, you have two tab options. You have your users and then you have your teams. Now, if we click on teams, you'll notice you may not have anything here. That's totally okay. That just means you haven't made any teams yet. If we needed to create a new team, we would just come over and click add team in the top right-hand corner. Now, you may be asking yourself, Jackie, why would I ever need to make a team of people in Redtail? Well, if you ever need to notify multiple people of something at once or potentially assign a group of people to a task or an activity, it's easier if you're utilizing a team as opposed to individually adding all those clients, all of those users. Um, so using a team could be extremely beneficial to your office, especially if you have, you know, like an admin team or if you had... Um, a compliance team. You could easily say, okay, this is going to be the compliance team and then just select add team using our green button in the corner. And you'll notice it goes away immediately, but don't worry, it's going to appear on your team list. And then all you need to do is come over to our little left-hand action button again and come down to add or remove team members to add new members. Because you'll notice we created a team, but there's no people in it. <laughs> so we wanna make sure we're adding team members to it. Awesome, so we're gonna come down here and then we can select all of the team members that we want to be in our new team. And then you'll see on the right-hand side, that number adjusts. So now we have five team members in our wonderful compliance team over here. If you come back to this little action button though, you'll also notice that we have the ability to edit the team. So if we wanted to change the name, maybe, oh, we decided it's not the compliance team anymore, it's the structure team or whatever we decided to call it. It is 100% up to you. Just make sure you spell it right. <laughs> and finally, you can also delete teams as needed. But just keep in mind, if you're going to delete a team, anything that was assigned to this particular team could be affected. Excellent. Well, thank you all so much for tuning in today. That is all we have about navigation and users and teams within the system. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you all and answering any additional questions you might have. Please feel free to reach out if you do have any additional questions about the content we covered today or if you're interested in scheduling a one-on-one -on -one training. Thank you all so much and I hope you have a great rest of your day.